Okay, so here I am with Michael from Scratch Solutions, the owner of Scratch Solutions, and he has a ProMaster 3500 with the NapHide box on the back, all the tool compartments, and he actually uses it for his business. So I wanted to get his opinion um, based on his experience now. How long have you had it, Michael? I'm going on about three months at this point. Okay, so you've had it for three months, and so now I can get his opinion on it, and um, he seems to like it a lot, so let, just let me know. Tell me about it, basically. So basically, it's a uh, 2018 3500 ProMaster by Dodge. Uh, I actually moved to this truck from another vehicle. Um, what makes, I guess, you, know, you want my opinion. Mm -hmm. So my opinion is, this is much quieter. It's a better riding vehicle. It's less upkeep because it doesn't have dual rear wheels. Everything about the machine is easier to operate. The functionality is much better. It's, it's great to actually take a phone call over the Bluetooth radio and be able to talk to somebody versus my other truck with a little bit louder. Uh, and it carried a lot more noise into the cab. This thing has got a little doorway between it. It's super, super silent inside. It's got overhead storage, which is new to me, which is awesome. I'm not a, I'm not a cluster person by any means, uh, but it's definitely nice to have little, little places on my door and in the center console. There's so much room inside. It's like a minivan that's just fantastic. So we'll move on to like some other things that I think is very important about it. Uh, when you buy one of these, I understand it's a work vehicle and, and these are less than your modern day Dodge truck and they make me money. Uh, you know, I, I earn an income. This is my livelihood. This is all I got. When it rains, I'm done. Um, but there are some really, really neat things about this that I found out sort of after the fact uh, and to me is, is really, really cool. Uh, you know, I'm a tech gadget guy. I, I like it. It's got power mirrors. The visibility out of this thing is astonishing. Uh, it's got a backup camera, which is fantastic. It popped right up on the radio display. It's super crystal clear. It's got a great down angle. I can back my jet skis in the lake without any real problem at all. It's fantastic. The lockers. I know that this is a video and I'm sure he'll, Mike will get it in here in a little bit. These lockers are so sturdy. Uh, they hold their place. The, the latches, the hinges, everything about their operation and movement just works. They're just so much better. This is a painted body. It's not like the particle board that's been wrapped in a decal. So I can wash it and wax this thing just like you do your, your Challenger, truly. Um, so, so moving on about the lockers, talking about, you know, this is what I work out of. This is my workbench right here. This is how my day goes. Um, the lockers are not only really, really well built, but they also operate on a keyless entry system. So when I walk away and I get home, I'm one button and the, the cab locks, all the doors lock all the way around this thing. I don't have to worry about somebody going in to get my generator at night. I, you know, I live in a very safe neighborhood, but you know how times are with people. Things happen, things get missing. I don't have to worry about any of that on this. And if I happen to leave a locker slightly, slightly ajar, and I hit my, my RKE, my little RKE fob, it will actually beep differently telling me that I've got a door open somewhere on the vehicle, which is, I mean, really, how do you, it's, it's awesome. So if you were to lock it with a key and it's not completely closed, it's not secure. It, yeah, it's not secure and the, and the vehicle warned you. Napi did an amazing job building something that you can work out of. Uh, there's so much room inside, you can stand up. You and I can easily stand up with headroom. There's channel along the sidewalls that I, I've got storage. I've got more than enough room. And I actually kind of moved down from a larger vehicle to this um, with a little bit of hesitation. Cause you know, you know what my old truck was. It was a yeah, bit, yeah. it was a massive truck. Uh, and it was just cause I wanted to be the big fish on the block. <laughs> I should have started here. Cause this, this makes a lot more sense. I run a body shop out of a van. It's like, it's like a mobile body shop, basically. It's a mobile body shop. I do bumper repairs. I do bumper sprays. I've got a generator. I got a compressor. I got all 72 base coats on. I got, I got it all. It's a body shop on wheels. And this little ProMaster 3500 does everything right. How's the fuel economy? Fuel economy is around 16 to 20, depending on how I drive. Um, and that's that's pretty much a good base and it does have a tow haul mode and even pulling my jet skis is a two two ski trailer it, it doesn't even bother the little motor at all uh the motor is actually really really quiet the transmission is fluid it, again it's, it, it's it's astonishing little vehicle 
As far as getting in and out of the seat, is it, is it fairly easy? Fairly easy. Uh, obviously, being on 3,500 chassis, uh, it does sit up a little bit higher than some, some vehicles, I guess. But the door swings out to almost a 90 degree. So if you're a bigger fella, it's easy enough to get in. And then it's a quick step up. And I'm there. It's very, very simple, very easy. Uh, once you get inside, you've obviously got power windows. You got the power mirrors, which are great because it's the upper and the lower that are controlled. Uh, cruise control, you've got an auxiliary one, an auxiliary two. So if you want to run extra lights off of it or whatever the case may be. And something I do for safety is I leave my headlights on when I drive. And all the lights on this thing are all LED. And when I turn the vehicle off, they all turn off. It's not like a delay that takes 10 minutes. It's not like the body control module had to think about what's going on. It's just, I ride around safe. You know, this is a big vehicle. Yeah, you're gonna see it. Why not have the lights on? And it's cool that the vehicle kills all that when I kill the key. Okay, so now we know what you like about it. How about what you don't like about it? <laughs> That's always a tough one when you buy it from a dealer and, <laughs> and, and, and there's gonna be you know, a view on this because every, everybody's got an opinion. I will say there's two things, Mike, that that I would want someone to know about the little Pro Master 3500 Napod box or what they call the KUV um, before they bought it or if they were thinking about buying it or even on the test drive or whatever the case may be. It is front wheel drive, which is somewhat different out of these big trucks. A lot of stuff is rear wheel drive. Um, if you know anything about a front wheel drive car, there's a term called torque steer. And if you go to hit the throttle, it does have a tendency to pull. I don't notice it. I'm a slow driver. I'm in no hurry to get anywhere. Uh, but if you're doing about 65 miles an hour or 70 mile an hour, it has no problem getting there and maintaining it. The cruise control holds well. But let's just say that you're going down a local highway and it's a 65 mile an hour to 70 mile an hour zone and you set the cruise control uh, 70, 66, whatever the case may be, anything above about 62, I've noticed that if you're in a headwind or you come up to a slight incline, and it, and it needs to be in a, it needs to be a grade, it can't be just a hill. Uh, you'll notice that it shifts down. Uh, it almost has to come out of overdrive or maybe whatever that next gear is, and has to accelerate to maintain cruise control. And with that little bit of hunting of the gear, you get a little torque steer. So you got to kind of. I've learned in three months how to drive with it. But the first time I did drive it, I noticed I was like, oh, okay, that's that's much different because my old truck, again, we established it's a bigger vehicle. It had a big V8 in it. It was a fuel hog. Everything about it was you know, somewhat wrong for what I really needed. But you need to be aware that it does have a little bit of torque steer and it will hunt uh, a gear down at highway speed in a headwind or up a, a grade. Okay, very useful. Anything else you can think of that maybe you could maybe they can improve on maybe for your specific situation uh for me as a body shop no um you know one of the things that i, I haven't done yet but i'm going to do for my outfit is if you are i guess maybe if you're an electrician or you are running a generator on this these lockers uh the way they're built all the structuring comes right up to the fascia so you can't sneak wires by so you know i'm gonna have to drill a few holes to to move some cabling you know, behind the scene, uh, you know, that you can't necessarily see. And I wish maybe they would have done that, you know, give, give an entry port, a two inch port that we could have fed wires through, you know, as need be from a generator. And, and I know that, you know, this is a 2018 model. This is very new. Uh, and so it, it, with things will come along, but every light on its led, it's got an internal switch that's inside the, the, you know, the back of it. And that's an led light that is, it's Fort Knox when it lights up at night. It, I don't. I don't need anything. It's good. Yeah. Uh, you know, everything about it—the fit, the finish, the KUV bodies—truly is where it's at. You should come drive one. Just see how it works for you. The lockers are about 13 inches deep. In case someone needed to know that sort of information, it does have two drop-down lockers in the back that will give you access for about a 10-foot pole uh, into the side. You'll you'll see those in the later video. I'm sure you'll post those, Mike. But no, uh, truly a, a fantastic little working vehicle that does me everything I need it to do. Awesome. I really appreciate your time today. Welcome, welcome. Hey, man. Take care. All right. Yeah, me and Mike were just sort of standing around here just off the cuff discussing, you know, some other things of you know, why I bought the little ProMaster 3500. And the reality of it is there's, there's often hidden costs that you don't always understand. Uh, 
my other truck we mentioned was much larger. It was a dual rear wheel. Something you need to be aware of is I travel and I cross the state line from South Carolina to North Carolina and service you know, multiple dealers doing what I do. And if you have a vehicle that weighs over 10,000 pounds, you have to be a DOT compliant. And it can be quite, it's not fun, is that what I'll say. You have to have a medical card. You gotta have hazmat sheets if you're carrying hazardous materials. You've got to have federal inspection done once a year. You know, you can get be, you can be pulled over by any state trooper along the way and they can run, you know, they don't have to necessarily break out the scales, but they can run through your vehicle and make sure that you've got all the proper documentation for DOT. And so when I went to the 3500, I eliminated all that because this vehicle only weighed 9350 and I'm, I don't have to be DOT compliant. And that's saving me a considerable amount of money every year. So Michael has some work to do and he left me with the vehicle. So I wanted to point out a few things that he had mentioned. And that is that he really likes the way the seats, you're able to recline them a little bit so that you notice this is cut out, the nap eyed conversion uh, cuts this out and allows for the seat to move back or tilt back a little bit, which is makes it a lot more comfortable than, than say a vehicle uh, that the seats are not able to recline. So you can see it cuts it out. Another thing that Michael mentioned is the visibility. Now he mentioned that the, the mirrors are adjustable, power adjusting mirrors. You can adjust this one and this one independently and look how big they are. Also, the windshield is massive, and with the slope of the hood, uh, he has the best visibility. He can't imagine basically any better visibility um, than this vehicle because you don't even see the, the hood. You see right straight to the ground, and then you have the big mirrors. You also have the ability to, to see out the window, and there's actually a pass-through and a window in the back, so he can look in the rearview mirror and use that. He has a backup camera that you can, of course, turn on when you're in reverse, but you can also push a button and turn it on when you're driving, or even if you're not in reverse, basically. Another thing we discussed was the insurance cost. With this particular vehicle, it's just like insuring a regular van. So it doesn't have the, you know, the, the larger DOT compliant uh, insurance that typically would be associated with big commercial vehicles. So this is a very significant uh, cost savings on insurance. Also, he's able to have a trailer hitch without another bump in, um, you know, additional huge costs in insurance. The backup camera is actually in this really high position, right there in the center, very center. And you see it lines up with the door. So it's perfect center position and really high up. So that way you can see straight down to the trailer hitch to back up to something, but you just have a general view behind the vehicle since it's a wide angle. Since it's a front wheel drive vehicle, it doesn't have a huge axle back here to get in the way, which helps with the low floor and the flat floor back here. So it doesn't have to be so high up in this particular case. So here's another Ram 3500 Promaster with the KUV Napide Upfit. And this one's just like Michael's, except for of course it doesn't have all of his stuff in it. On Michael's and on this one, the dealer had already added a few things. Now, this is something that I think a lot of people would want. The tent on the back windows has been added by the dealer. Also, you notice this bumper has a, like a rhino lining or a speed liner in this particular case. It's been lined. Also, the same thing with the, the bed. You see how easy it is to open these doors. So this floor has been lined as well because originally uh, when Van first got these in, he noticed how slippery the floor can get because it's just basically a, a painted surface similar to this and so if you were to try to get in and out of this vehicle um, and your your feet are slightly wet it may be a hazard as far as you know slipping and on, falling on the floor so van when he sells these the first thing he does is has the have these lined that way it, it solves that problem for the customer uh, immediately 
So you can see, without all the stuff in there, look how much room is back here. And you have the shelves. So on Michael's uh, vehicle, he has a hose that he can pull out here. But you can actually, and actually have some boxes in here for demonstration purposes. But let's say you're a plumber or something, you can go ahead and put in your pipes or long objects right through here and they'll stay secure on that shelf and you can access them you know fairly easily with these compartments with these doors back here so i'm six feet tall and just to give you an idea i can walk out around and i'm trying to stretch and i'm on my tippy toes now um, i'm trying to stretch out and be as tall as i possibly can here um, and you can see i have plenty of headroom so there's no place in which i'm let me go here to the very end. This is the lowest point. And you can see even this part, I'm standing pressed up against the shelf here. And this is the lowest point, it tapers down. And even there, I have plenty of headroom. So walking around in here is not a problem at all, unless you are significantly taller than me. So getting inside the vehicle is fairly easy. You have a step here, like so, and there's a handle. There's even a light switch right next to the handle. So you can go and turn the lights on before you get in and you just grab the handle and lift yourself up. So I could do it with just a, with my camera in my other hand, so it's not a big deal. All right, so just kind of looking at the, you have a little shelf here. It does have some screws sticking up and some wiring. Then you have the side shelves. You have the ability to put some you know, items here, long items or whatever, hoses or whatever. And then you have this one where you have the door at the end, which you can put long pipes or whatever. You can see the LED lights. And this door, this is the, uh, like a fiberglass type material. This little door passway. Fuel door is easy to get to right here next to the driver's side door. I like that. So Michael mentioned the visibility. So you can see it has this really large windshield and you can see pretty much straight to the ground here in the front. And then you have the windows here on the side with the large side mirrors. And the seat is kind of a high position to where, um, you know, basically you can look down and see right next to you pretty well. There's a little clip right here. There's also a clipboard here on the dash. You have a USB and auxiliary inputs in this little cubby hole right here. There's climate control, the shifters up here. It's not in the way in the center. Matter of fact, the center's all open. And you can actually raise the seats up a little bit and lower them as well. Storage space is everywhere. There in the door, you have the cup holders, chargers, and up here. Some of these overhead compartments. These visors are huge. I always need a light. Especially working at night, you're trying to look at a clipboard, you're trying to look at something. Also have the backup camera popped up here just so you can get an idea of the visibility back there. That real high position.
It also has a locking glove compartment. Send an incredible personalized gift. The new star name will be recorded in book form in the U.S. Copyright Office. Call the star registry. So the radio sounds pretty good. It has that surrounding feel. It doesn't have the, just like the speakers are coming from one specific direction. Um, so that sounds pretty good. I don't have any kind of copyright free music to present to you, but there's a compartment up here as well. Okay, so thank you for watching. Thank you to Van Underwood. Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram here in Whiteville, North Carolina. And thank you to Michael from Scratch Solutions for sharing all his knowledge and his experience with the new ProMaster that he recently bought. He's had it for about three months. So wanted to get some real world feedback because it is something that I want to add value to you as a shopper. So hopefully this has been helpful and I'll see you guys next time.